Weathering breaks down rocks and minerals into smaller pieces called sediments that are carried away. Erosion carries the sediments to a new location. Here you can see flowing water washing sediments downstream. As the water slows, the sediments are deposited in a new location. And in the diagram, you can see how deposition creates layers of sediment. Layers of sediments build up over time. As new layers form, their weight presses down on the lower layers. Over time, the weight from the water and layers above compacts the sediments. Compaction occurs when the sediments are squeezed closer and closer together. Cementation occurs as minerals surround the sediments and bind them together. You can see the large pieces of sediment in this rock. These sediments are cemented together by minerals. The processes of compaction and cementation turn sediments into sedimentary rock. So you can see how compaction and cementation have turned sand into sandstone, mud into shale, and silt into siltstone. Now a key characteristic of sedimentary rock is that sedimentary rock is made of layers. And so if you can see clear layers of rock, then you're probably looking at a sedimentary rock formation. The formation of fossil fuels is directly related to the formation of sedimentary rocks. Fossil fuels are formed over millions of years from the buried remains of living organisms. Organisms like plants and plankton live and grow near or in the water. Organisms die and settle to the bottom of lakes and oceans where sediments are collecting. Decaying and decomposing organisms are buried under many layers of sediment. As the sediments are compacted, the remains of the organisms are also compacted. Over very long periods of time, the sediments are turned into sedimentary rock, and the remains of the organisms are turned into fossil fuels. Over millions of years, pressure and heat convert the remains of the organisms into fossil fuels. So the remains of trees and plants that once lived in ancient swamps and marshes are what eventually became coal. And the remains of plankton that lived in oceans long ago are what eventually became petroleum and natural gas. I hope this video has helped you understand how sedimentary rocks and fossil fuels are formed a little better. Keep up the great work, and I'll see you next time.